everybody, it's Marie from Pear Tree Paper Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a 12 by 12 process video for you for Cut To You. So this one does count as an advertisement. And today I am using this gorgeous uh, floral ampersand um, cut file, um, which I will link down below in the comments. Um, I decided to cut this uh, really big, um, as big as, pretty much as big as I could get it on my 12 by 12. And then when I started looking at papers and things um, for what I was going to do with it, um, I realised um, because of the papers I'm using, which um, are the Pink Fresh Studios, um, just a little lovely collection, um, I wanted it to feel quite soft. And I looked through all the papers and I couldn't find anything that was quite right given um, the background paper that I fancied using, which is a greeny hue. Um, so I decided to back the cut file using vellum. Um, I just buy A4 vellum, I, I, I tend not to need to use it um, so big, 12 by 12 and if I do I can kind of piece it together like I'm doing here. Um, so I just use um, my little scissors there, um, I've gone round with my fine line of glue and I'm just now cutting around the edges with vellum because it's so um, thin um, and easy, it's, it's quite um, easy to cut round and do like this. I could have done it on the cutting machine by getting rid of all the internal um, pieces on my Cricut but I, I quite like this. I find it quite therapeutic to, to sit and cut out the, the edges so that's how I've done this one. So I don't make you watch it all because it takes me a little while to do to do all of the pieces. So there it is, it's now finished. As you can see you can almost barely see that it is backed in, in I think it's it's more obvious in real life than it is on the video right now. Um, and they're the pictures I'm choosing to scrap today. I've printed these out on my selfie um, and I wanted to leave them in little strips like that so it almost looked like they'd come out of one of those photo booth um, places. And I thought I'd just pop those in the centre. Um, I've then pulled um, the acetate flowers from the Just a Little Lovely collection. These are absolutely gorgeous. There's blues and purples and pinks. And then there's some that are completely see-through. And then there's some that are um, silver as well. They're, they're, these ones I've chosen to use a, a kind of gold foil. They've got gold foiling details around the edges. So I've just placed those at random places around um, the ampersand. And now I'm just taking some white um, cotton, some white string, and I'm just kind of looping it around and tucking it in behind just to sort of give a real nice soft effect. Um, and just to give a bit of extra detail, a bit of extra um, interest on the page, I suppose. So I'm just wrapping it around my fingers. I, I do it in like a figure of eight round two fingers and then kind of fold it together and it, it makes it look less sort of um, perfect, if you like. Um, now I'm just going through the um, ephemera pack, that again, from the Just a Lovely collection. Um, and I'm picking out mainly the bits that uh, go with this so they're kind of the greens and things. So I've got our memories um, piece up in that top corner. I've put a little tab that says today on it just above one of the strips of photos. Uh, a couple of the little leafy bits there that I'm just going to pop in. And then a die cut piece with some flowers on. I've got just us and a little die cut piece there. So I just go go around and, and decide what's going to fit, what do I like, what do I want to put where. I knew I definitely wanted that there. Um, perfect colouring for this layout. And that the piece I've chosen for the background um, is, is that beautiful shade of green with, with the flower border on as well. It all just kind of links together. Now I'm just going to use these white um, puffy letters from the same collection because I just want two words on here. So I've got you and then me. And then obviously the ampersand in the middle, so my title is You and Me. And I'm really happy with that so far. So I just start using a few bits of dimensional foam just to stick a few of the pieces down. I did want to make sure that this piece in the corner ended up quite, um, quite dimensional. Um, it was, I did want to prop up the um, cut file, the ampersand, but it, because I've backed it in vellum, there really isn't anywhere very easy to stick the um, the foam onto. So I decided to leave that flat and find dimension on the page in other ways. So like I say, I've done some dimension in that top corner. And then I do use various bits and pieces 
to add dimension to the other places on the layout. So I'm going to add some dimension now um, behind my photos just after I've stuck that um, cut file down. So I just came around the outside with some fine liner glue again. My glue is, it goes on quite wet, but it's, it's, it's very sticky. And it dries very, very sticky. So once it's there, it, it's not coming off. So just, just place that on there using the you and the me um, as a guide to where it needs to go back to. What you don't see me do um, is use my phone um, to take a picture of the layout um, before I take it apart again. <laughs> so I'm just using a little bit of cheesecloth there um, as the backing for my photographs. Again, it gives a softness, it gives a bit of interest, it's a bit, a bit of dimension, a bit of depth. So just double-sided sticky on the back of those photographs. And then just deciding the best way to layer them. And then just, just kind of pulling little bits of that cheesecloth out from behind the photo. Can make it look really, I don't want to say rough, but really um, rustic, I suppose. Maybe rustic, is that the right word? So I've put some dimensional foam on the back of the photographs now. So they're lovely and propped up from the page. And now it's time to start adding in all those bits of ephemera um, and thankfully like I said I took a photograph on, on my phone so I keep looking back at that to make sure that the pieces go back in the right place. I hate that when you've kind of decided where everything's going to go and then you move it all to, to stick it down. I really should have stuck the cut, down, cut file down first but to move it all to stick it down and then go oh where did I put it and then you can never quite get it back to how you had it before so if I have to move everything that's what I do now I just take a quick photograph so here go all my bits of ephemera just tucking those all in I'm going to put some dimension on that one I do have to peel my photograph up to get it, get it to tuck underneath I like the contrast there of the, the black and white flowers to the coloured flowers that are all around so I just use some wet glue now on the little bits of on this acetate. I tend I'm I'm, I'm putting the glue behind um, the darkest of the flowers so that you can't see the glue. Um, it doesn't affect the 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 acetate in any way. So I'm just sticking these down, and then that last little leaf needs a bit on that it, I think. So really happy with that. I'm now going to use some sequins just to add a little bit of sparkle. So this is a mix from Spiegel Mom, Spiegel Mom Scraps called Lovely Day. And I'm just picking out, I do pick out all the same in the end. They're like a swirly, you'll see on the close-ups that are coming up in a little while, they're a swirly um, kind of sequin. So I just place a whole load around the page and then what I've found is using glossy accents works really well to get them to stick down better than wet glue because it's stickier to start with, I think. And that's about it for my layout today. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And do be sure to pop by the Cut To You shop. Again, I'll link that down below and have a look at some of the amazing cut files that are available. Bye for now.